How's it going, my battle squad? It's Michael here, and welcome to a very special announcement video. And today, we have a new series to talk about. I've been teasing this new series on Twitter, on the YouTube community tabs, which, by the way, on Twitter, be sure to go follow me at the Battle Pro. Shameless plug there. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, I've been hyping up this new series that I've been talking about on my uh, accounts for a couple weeks now, and I didn't want to say anything until now. Because I was waiting for certain things to happen, and now they've happened, and there's still more things that still need to happen um, at the point where I can announce it. So, yeah, lately, let's say, let's go a month ago, we'll just start there because that's when I normally start about doing, well, I started thinking about doing this series. And I was like, you know, this series, I mean, I did this game in the summer, last summer, and it did really well. Like, Everyone enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing it. It was kind of like a win-win situation. And some at the beginning of this year, uh, that same series took off again like it did in the summer. People were telling me in the comment section of my videos, hey, revisit this game. Do a Nuzlocke. Do a randomized Nuzlocke. Do something. I don't know. Just, just do something. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we will do something. So... Yeah, I mean, for a while, I was like, yeah, I'm going to wait until next summer, you know, I just didn't want to, like, I didn't want to hype something up that didn't end up happening, because I knew I eventually would do it, and it probably would have been the summer I'd jump back into this game, but I said that, like, I said that just to be safe, because you never know, like, I don't know, something changes, and I have to push it all the way back to the summer, even though I announced it for March, you know, it's, it's crazy, it's just stuff happens like that, so... I decided to be real safe on it, and I was like, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm thinking about doing it, I'll just do it in the summer, because otherwise I won't get burnt out, basically it's just my lame excuse to not do it, and obviously a lot of people are hyped up for it, I'm hyped up for it, so I'm happy to announce that the series I'm going to be doing is Pokemon Insurgents Randomized Nuzlocke, so the randomized Nuzlocke. I had the option of either doing like an expert series where since I've already gone through this game, I know how it all works. And like, it's just like, uh, it's kind of like an expert thing. So it's like 100% do everything and do it well and be like the expert of Pokemon Insurgents. The other option was just a regular Nuzlocke. And then the third option was a randomized Nuzlocke. So what did I decide? Well, obviously I chose Randomized Nuzlocke mainly because, I mean, I already, you know, I've already played through this game. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I just want like something different in the game. Like, I mean, I love the story. I love all the Pokemon. I love all the trainers. I love the kind like the, like the diversification of all the Pokemon that each trainer has, but I've already seen all the Pokemon. So I chose a Randomized Nuzlocke because you never know what these trainers are going to get. Of course, these ordinary trainers could get... You know, Lugia, Ho-Oh, <laughs> we got ourselves a, uh, a Zapdos, a Moltres, huh? Uh, uh, Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke, go check it out if you haven't done so already. <laughs> Shameless plug again, but that's okay. And, you know, just crazy stuff like that. And, of course, tough trainers can have weak Pokemon or they can have multiple legendaries or strong Pokemon and become impossible. So it kind of puts you on the edge, which is kind of I kind of enjoy that. So that's why I wanted to do a randomized Nuzlocke. So, here's the progress on it so far. So, I mean, I did, you know, I started working on ideas and stuff, like, you know, a month ago. And I did get a graphics uh, designer last week to start working on some artwork. Because, yes, this is my first series. I'm investing a lot of money into just one series. And it's a Nuzlocke, which is pretty risky because you never know like, what will happen. Especially in a randomized Nuzlocke because you don't know what's going to come at you. And if you lose, well, you lose. And <laughs> hopefully we don't lose right away. I mean, if we lost right away, then I would just restart. But then I'd just keep the first part up and just be like a continuation. But if it was like the sixth or seventh gym and then I lose, it's like, well, now what? Because it's like, uh, I could restart, but yet again, that's that took a long time to get to that point, you know, it's just, it's just, it's crazy, I know some people would just say to continue on, but I'm not that kind of person, so it, this is definitely a risky run, it really is, well, it's going to be a risky run because of the amount of money that I invested into this, uh, into this series, and I've never invested into a series like this before, so hopefully nothing goes wrong, right, oh, I'm sure there'll be something that goes wrong with just my luck, but 
Anyways, yeah, we're going to have, uh, I basically got a couple things designed. Of course, the logo, uh, there's going to be thumbnails going to be made, sidebars, uh, artwork for an intro that I'm making. Yes, I'm going to be learning how to make intros and I'm going to be learning how to use After Effects because in college I'm going to be majoring, well, I'm going to double major, but one of my majors is film and video and I'll probably need to know how to use After Effects. So I want to get familiar with After Effects before they start teaching me stuff. So that way I'd be like one step ahead of other people. So I actually have a Udemy class that I bought for like 12 bucks that gives me the basics of After Effects. And yeah, I'm just going to use whatever I learned in After Effects in that Udemy class and see what happens. I mean, I haven't learned everything yet. And I'm plus, I'm looking up a couple of things I would like. But still, uh, get, it's just a way of getting familiar with the software. And of course, I'm not going to be like a professional, but I think it'll be okay. I think, I, I mean, so far from what I have, I'm still waiting on on some artwork to put into the intro, but from what I have so far, I say it looks pretty good, and I hope you guys see the hard work and effort I put into it, and speaking of putting hard work and effort into it, uh, the series, I'm going all out, I, I, I've teased that so many times, I'm going to make this series the best edited, The of course the intro, which is taking a long time for me to make, but we're getting there. And uh, basically, I'm going to have like a little teaser at the beginning, something that you guys would be like, you know what? Okay, I have to watch this to see what, what happens here. You know, it's just something like that. You know, just something that can hype you guys up for the episode. And I'll, of course, I'll have an slate with some nice animation, uh, you know, just and make sure that it's just quality content. That's, that's just, that's my goal for the series, to make the best series possible. And I believe it's completely possible. And yeah. Hopefully that summarizes a lot of the announcement and I didn't miss anything. If I did, oh well, I guess I'll just talk about it at a later time. Oh, when? Okay. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. So what am I going to be starting this series? I'd like to start next weekend, but I guess it just depends on if I can get all the artwork and stuff by the, this next weekend. But if it doesn't happen, I guess it'll just be the weekend after that. And yeah, so what would that be? Would that be the March 8th? Would that be March? It's either March 1st or March 8th, I think. You know, if we go week by week. Something like that. I don't know. It, it, I, I, I don't have a calendar on me, so there, there's that. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so it's going to be the next couple weeks. And I'm, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited too. And if you are, be sure to smash that like button. And let me know in the comment section down below. It's, it, I really do appreciate all the support from you guys. It's crazy. So now let's go over the rules and that'll be the end of the announcement video. So it's going to be like our randomizer rules, like from the live streams that we've done, which by the way, I need to continue that red randomizer. It will be happening soon. Okay. So the rules, number one, as in any traditional Nuzlocke, a Pokemon Faith is considered dead and I have to put it in the PC. Simple as that. Then rule number two, it's a, whatever Pokemon you encounter on the first route, uh, that's the Pokemon you catch. You can't, if it faints or flees, you don't get a second encounter. Three, now it goes along with that, is Dupes Claws. So if I have a Pokemon that I have on my team or on my PC that's in the family of the Pokemon that I find in the wild, I can choose to call Dupes and find another encounter, which I don't think will be a big, uh, I don't think it'll happen very often because there's so many Pokemon in this game, especially with Deltas, Legendaries, just... There's a lot of Pokemon in, in this game, so I don't think dupes will happen a whole lot, but just in case it does happen, I have that rule there. So, rule number four, players must nickname all their Pokemon to uh, build strong bonds. Rule number five, so if a player blacks out or whites out, it's considered game over. You know, it's a pretty simple rule. Now it's time for some rules that I added for myself. Rule number six, shiny claws. If I encounter a shiny Pokemon on any route and I've already found an encounter for that route, I can still catch it and use it on the team. Because, you know, it's so rare to find a shiny Pokemon. And if we just happen to find one, you know what? What the heck? Just, yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to catch it and use it. Simple as that. I mean, of course, I may not use it right away or it may not even be a Pokemon that's good to use. I mean, I, I just the ability to catch it, I mean, that's just, I think that's worthwhile. At least to catch and then if it's good, use it. So, I, I don't know. I just thought it would be kind of cool to do. I mean, that crystal randomizer. Wink, wink. Go and check it out. Holy cow, the last episode. That was absolutely ridiculous. Okay, so there's that. Rule number seven. So there are in-game trades in this game. And let's say if I come across a Pokemon trade that I can actually do. I'm not sure how the randomizer works per se because 
I'm not using the universal randomizer at, like program on my computer because it's actually a built-in challenge mode thing for uh, Pokemon Insurgents. So I'm not sure how, what the rules are for all the randomizer on there. I guess it'll be like an experience kind of thing where I guess I'll figure it out as we go. <laughs> Great. But no, um, I'm not sure how that all works. I mean, if the trade Pokemon uh, get randomized and I have randomized Pokemon on each route, then if I just happen to come across an, uh, a person that can trade and I have the right Pokemon to do the trade, I have the ability to do so. Simple as that. So, uh, let's see. Rule number eight. If I need... If I require a certain HM to progress through the game and I don't have a Pokemon that can learn that HM, I can go and catch a Pokemon that can use that HM so I can progress in the game. But, let's say I have a Pokemon that, let's say I want to learn, I don't want to learn Cut and it just happens to be that my one of my Pokemon can learn Cut, I don't want him to use Cut, I still have to teach that Pokemon Cut because otherwise I can't just go and catch a Slave Pokemon just to use that. I mean, if I already have a Slave Pokemon caught, from a different HM and I want to put uh, an HM on that, then I guess that's fine. But if I have a Pokemon initially that I have to uh, have to teach the HM to, uh, instead of catching a slave, then I have to in order to progress in the game. Like, or, you know, what I'm saying, whatever. <laughs> okay, so rule number nine, static Pokemon. Uh, they are not counted as uh, wild encounters. So let's say I go to... A Delta Pokemon. I'm not sure if Delta Pokemon randomized randomize the Delta Pokemon or they're different Pokemon, vice versa, or whatever. Just things like that. Like if a, if I come across a Delta Pokemon or just a static encounter or legendary, whatever, and I catch it, or let's say I, we were given a certain Pokemon and it's randomized or whatever, they don't count as encounters. Like they count like you can catch them and use them on the team, but they don't count as encounters. Which there's a lot of static uh Delta Pokemon in this game. I'm not probably going to catch a lot of them. Like, so it's probably going to be a couple. I guess I'd only catch them if I'm in dire need of team members. But at, early on in the game, I don't think there are very many. So, I don't know. So, I probably won't be catching Delta Pokemon. But I guess if I absolutely needed to to find some team members, I guess I would go and catch a few Delta Pokemon since they don't count as encounters. So, yeah. That rule's in there. <laughs> So, rule number 10, if I manage to find a Legendary as a first encounter, and uh, I manage to catch it, risking my Pokemon and dying in order to catch this thing, then I'm allowed to use it on the team, since any other trainer in the game could randomize and get a Legendary Pokemon. So, if they have the ability to use one, then I should have the ability to use one. That's basically my explanation to why I have that rule in place. So, those are all the rules, and yeah, I guess... I just talk about the randomizer real quick. I know we talked about it a little bit earlier. I have no idea what the rules are for the randomizer. And honestly, like, I tried to look it up online. I can't find the specifics. So I don't know if it's, like, just the Pokemon or all the overworld items or, you know, just stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure. Hopefully everything is randomized. Just hopefully, like, I don't know, not types are randomized. I highly doubt the types are, I'm sure. They are they're to their Pokemon to the right Pokemon. I'm assuming they have right the right abilities, but I don't know. Just all these like things that they could possibly randomize. I'm not sure what's gonna randomize. So this is gonna be a rather interesting experience, and I hope you guys uh, join the ride because it's gonna be it's gonna be fun and it's gonna be crazy. And yeah, I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. And yeah, that's gonna be the end of this announcement video. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, let me know if you're hyped. Put it in the comment section. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Do what you need to do to be able to get the opportunity to watch a Pokemon Insurgents randomized Nuzlocke. Oh, and make sure you ring that bell too so you get notifications whenever I upload. Lately, YouTube's been terrible with posting videos to people's subscription feed. So you don't want to miss an episode because they're all going to be quite intense. So that's going to be it for this update video. See you guys later.